Fundamentally, we're a data technology company. We're actually the oldest company in the country. It's been going on nearly 200 years. We're using Terraform fairly consistently now throughout the enterprise. Most all of our infrastructure is stood up with HashiCorp Terraform. And we've recently been migrating over to their enterprise offering Terraform Cloud for Business, which provides us even more standardization. It gives us a good control plane and a gating control over change and access to the environment. And the first time I saw it really blew my mind. I was like, this is exactly what I was looking for. I wish we had used this at the last uh, role I was at. So that was really uh, inspiring and powerful to see conceptually and implementation-wise, a programming language and a product that allows you to interact with different types of back-end infrastructure in a consistent way. We might need to write code specific for Azure, we might need to write code specific for our data centers or AWS, and that code might be technically different, but it's still written in the same programming language, which is incredibly powerful. That means that anybody who's been using Terraform for AWS can start deploying things into Google Cloud and not have to learn something new. I think the biggest challenge is the different operating models themselves of those clouds and the underlying infrastructure. Conceptually, it's all the same. Implementation-wise, it's very different. There's a lot of manual effort, a lot of operational overhead, and a lot of operational expense to running a large global infrastructure like that. Managing those resources, we really need to do it in a way that gives us the ability to manage it across multiple accounts, multiple regions, multiple clouds, multiple data centers, and uh, multiple business units. And the vendor-specific cloud offerings just aren't offering that as a service. Without HashiCorp, we struggle at scale. With HashiCorp, we've been able to standardize on reusable components and an approach that allows us to provide a programmatic interface for our developers to stand up the infrastructure they need in a consistent fashion where we have auditability, we have maintainability, we have security, and we have the ability to upgrade in a controlled fashion that reduces operational risk over time. So the language is open source. Everybody has access to that. What I like about HashiCorp is they've then gone and provided those enterprise setups of tools that help me more formally standardize the usage of the underlying open source platforms.